Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my collective haul magic mail today. So I got a little bit of everything I want to share with you guys. I'm so excited to share it with you and so let's get started. So the first thing I want to share with you is some uh, gifts that you guys have sent me and I appreciate it so so much. You guys are the best subscribers in the whole wide world and I really really appreciate it. Uh, but the first one I want to share with you is from somebody who's just recently started her channel and and her name is Ginger and her channel name is just Ginger and I will link her information below I will link everyone's uh, Instagram and YouTube channels if they have them below in my descriptions below so please be sure to go over and check these guys out they are the best uh, Ginger is hilarious. I love watching her. She is so bubbly and so much fun and uh, I just I really love watching her channel. So I know you guys will too. So be sure to go over and check her out. But she sent me just the most precious thing and it is a cup that has got the castle on the front of it with like a little decal with just like firework coming off of the castle and it has my name on the back of it. Oh look at here, isn't this precious? I just love it and this is my favorite color. I love that color so much. I like a lot of colors but I just keep leaning towards this color, this really hot pink. It is just pretty and look at all the stars. I mean the fireworks that are coming like the castle has. And then on the back of it, as you can see, if you can see that, it's got my name. I love that. And look at this fun straw. Look at all the Mickey heads on it. Isn't that cute? I love it. So thank you, Ginger. Another thing Ginger sent, now Ginger is a nurse. And so uh, I work in a hospital, she works in a hospital. And so she sent this bottle of hand sanitizer that has a little blue scrub top on it. And on the back, it's got a little snap that you can um, kind of snap it onto your shirt uh, or it has it a lanyard where you can hang it. And then it has a little spot on the bottom where you can attach your hospital bag uh down there because you always have to have your badge on when you're at the hospital but i love this i think it is so precious so thank you so much ginger for that that was so thoughtful i just love it it's so so cute so i definitely will be using that uh but anyway thank you ginger and you guys be sure to go over and check out ginger's channel uh i'm sure you'll love that so the next thing I want to share with you today is from someone I just love. She is, I tell you, I love watching her on her channel. She is, uh, she is just a hoot. I mean, she will tell you the truth. That's what I like about her channel. Uh, when I go watch her, she's so informative. She's a smart lady. Um, and she researches a lot of stuff. She used to work for Disney for a period of time. And uh, so I love her. She's a New Yorker which makes it even better. Uh, I love her accent. I could sit and listen to her all day long. Uh, but anyway, her name is Maureen. And the name of her channel is Tinkerella Treasure Trunks. And so that's a mouthful to me to say, for me to say. So I just call her by her name, Maureen. And but she, I love watching her so much. And she sent Melissa and I a little something. And she sent this beautiful little card. I thought it was so precious. Uh, and I, it, it's just so cute. And she says, uh, enjoy the little gifts. And she's saying, send in pixie dust and witches from uh, and love from New York, your friend Maureen. So that is just so, so special. Thank you so much. And let me show you what she sent. I'm so excited to get into this. Uh, she sent Melissa something too, similar to this, but different. And so I think if you follow Melissa, you've probably already seen this, but I believe if I'm not mistaken, she got this from Hallmark, but it is precious. Isn't that beautiful? It is Belle, and guess what? It's an ornament. Yes, it is going to go on my Christmas tree for sure. 
<laughs> another one. I, I'm so glad I left my Christmas tree up. I'm getting all these extra ornaments. Now I have the opportunity to actually put it on my tree. So, you know, a lot of times if you get ornaments, um, maybe after the season, you know, and you've already put all your decorations away. Um, I mean, of course I have them and I'll keep them, but I put, I have to put them in a special spot because we store all our stuff down in our barn in these huge totes. And so, uh, I'll definitely have to, you know, wait until the next year rolls around for Christmas before I can actually put it with my Christmas items. So anyway, I'm so glad I have my Christmas tree still up. And uh, let me give you a close up of this. Isn't she beautiful? I just love Belle. And I love this one in particular. I mean, it's so well done. It's so cute. You turn it around. Oh, look at her little earrings there. And you turn it around. It's got Disney on the back of it. I just love it. So thank you so much, Maureen. I really, really appreciate this. It was so sweet of you to send it, and I love it. So thank you. Thank you very much. So the next thing I want to share with you is from a sweet, sweet friend that um, I just love to death. Her, she and her whole family are just so special. Um, and she knows that how much I love uh, Disney Christmas ornaments and how much I love Peter Pan. And guess what? She surprised me and Melissa with these ornaments. And she too sent a beautiful, it was like Christmas in July. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this because I post a lot of stuff on Instagram. So guys, if you don't follow me, go over to Instagram and uh, follow me there and you'll see stuff firsthand. But this is a beautiful little card from uh, you know, like Christmas, uh, the fall, winter with the snowman, and she had this, the most precious uh, note to Melissa and I, and it's just, oh my gosh, it touched my heart so much, Jolene, but it's from Jolene and uh, her precious family, and listen, follow her, and I'll link Maureen's channel down below. Be sure to go follow those guys. Um, now, I don't think Jolene actually posts videos, but she has an Instagram account for sure, so I will link her below. Uh, so be sure to go over and check out Jolene, but let me show you what she sent. This is so precious. And you know, when I saw it for the first time, I went nuts, right? It's the new Peter Pan ornament from Shop Disney. Um, and it's the big old tower clock, the big bin, I guess. Uh, and it just has a lot of the characters in it. So let me give you a close up of that. How wonderful is this? You've got right on the front, you've got Peter Pan and you've got Wendy right at the big bit, uh, big Ben. And you've got the kids back here in the back. And there's another side shot with all the clouds and turn it around there. You've got a little cloud there. So, so precious. It is so beautiful and well done. Thank you so much, Jolene. And of course, you know, right after I close this video out, this is going to go get on my Christmas tree. I'm going to put it on my Christmas tree in the playroom. So love that. Now, another thing she sent, uh, Melissa and I, is this. It is so cute. She had a beautiful candy cane looking uh, string that was tied around it. But it is a dish towel. And it is so cute. I love it. It's beautiful. Uh, just I love this material. What kind of material is this? It's uh, oh my gosh, is this um, uh, oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness, it's a hundred percent cotton and it's so soft, but it's got Mickey on it. And oh my gosh, he's just being fun and it spells his name out on it. And over on this side, it does the same thing. So, let me give you a quick little close up of that. I think it's precious. I almost don't want to use it. I just want to let it decorate, like hang it on my stove handle or something like that to just give it some decoration. I love it. It is so precious. So thank you, Jolene, for that. And one other little thing she sent, and a little tiny uh, orange um, lacy type bag is a... Um, it's called a Charm Cross, and I say 
a prayer for you. I said a prayer for you today. Oh, and that is so, so sweet. It's got, Lord, hear my prayer, cross charm. And so, you know what? I told Jolene I was going to put this in my wallet and carry it around with me, but let me give you a quick close-up of this one. How beautiful is that? And how special is that? I love it so much. Um, and so, Jolene, thank you. That was so touching to send that, and I will definitely put that in my wallet, and it'll be with me at all times. So thank you so much, Jolene. That, that was just so sweet of you, and I really, really appreciate it. So the last little bit of magic mail I want to show you is something that uh, someone really, really special, it's Patsy at Patsy's Provisions, uh, sent, and it is a pair of Porg ears. She made them herself, and she's got a shop on Etsy, and I'll link all this information below, but uh, aren't these precious? Look at that. You've got the Porgs, and then you've got that beautiful blue and silver bow. It is just precious. And if you look at the back, those are so, so nice. I just love them. So thank you, Patsy, for sending those. You know, Melissa and I both love Star Wars so much. And uh, I just, oh, I love it. It's just, it's perfect for me. And in her note, she also said, um, upcoming collections on her Etsy shop. She's got Pooh and Friends. She's got Fall, Halloween, and Christmas all coming up. So be sure to go over to Patsy's um Etsy channel, and I will link this information below, and check out her wonderful creations. So, she does a great job, and be sure to go check her out. And thank you so much, Patsy, for sending those. I tell you, my ear collection is growing, growing, growing. I love it. If I keep on, I'm going to have to make me another ear holder. And I don't like making those. Those are hard to make. And so, but anyway, and two, I don't know where I put it. <laughs> but anyway, I love it. I'll, I'll make me another one uh, or switch them around or something. I love receiving ears. I love all my ear collections. And so, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. So, guys, something I picked up that I want to share with you. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this. But how about this? Oh, my gosh. It is the Incredibles 2. And these are stance socks for women. And this is violet on the front of them. Uh, I picked these up at Ross's. And I got them for $1.99, guys. And if anybody's ever worn stance socks or bought them for their children or bought them for your husband or for yourself as a woman, uh, they are not cheap. And so, um, me and the kids, we were, uh, you know, out shopping around one day. Tripp brought me these because he loves stance. I mean, we've put a small fortune into stance socks for that kid. And, uh, and so, and he's bought a lot of them himself. But anyway, uh, he walked up with these. I said, well, how much are they? And it was $1.99. I was like, oh my God. Gosh, I can't, I can't pass that up. And so, anyway, I picked these up, and I just think they're so, so precious. You know, I love the Incredibles, um, and so just wanted to share those with you. I think they're precious. Now, will I wear them? I don't know. Maybe this this winter. I'm not a big sock person. When I can wear sandals or Crocs or something like that, that's what I do. But in the winter, I do wear socks. Oh, and I have to wear socks to work, so uh, I don't know. We'll see. But I love that, especially for the price, right? Oh, my gosh. How can you not? But anyway, so now the next thing I want to show you is, and if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this too. And uh, I don't think I've shared this with you guys yet. And it's going to be glary, so I'm going to take it out of the box. But it is Luke Skywalker and Yoda. And this is from the 40th anniversary of The Empire Strikes Back. It's the Funko Pop. Uh, I've gone crazy with Funko. Oh my gosh, Funko is cutting into my pins. <laughs> So, anyway, but I love them. I just, I just got the bug and, woo, can't get rid of it. Uh, but, anyway, let me show you this real quick. I don't think I've shown you this already, but if you did, you'll get to enjoy it a second time. But, look at this. I love it. It's such a classic scene uh, from The Empire Strikes Back where Luke Skywalker goes back to Yoda for training. And, uh, I just love it. So, let me give you a quick close-up of this. 
look at this and look at Yoda. See, Yoda is actually in like a little backpack of his own on the back of Luke Skywalker. And so he's out in that light swamp doing his training. And I love how he, the Star Wars right here is almost like in a greenish color, almost like the grass. And then look down here, you see all the grass on the bottom. They do such a good job at Funko. But isn't that just precious? I love it. Okay, so another Funko that I was able to pick up is, now they have got, if you guys don't know, which I'm sure a bunch of you do, but they, Funko, has actually started doing what they call an alien remix, where they take the green alien from Toy Story and they dress it up as different Pixar characters. And it's just nuts. It is just absolutely gone nuts. Now, I actually ordered this one and got it in. I've got the others ordered, but I ordered them on pre-order, so they're supposed to be releasing in August. So, as of today, it's August, and so um, hopefully I'll start getting those in the mail to finish up this set, but thank God I've got them already ordered. But anyway, this is um, Kevin uh, from Up, and you know I love Up. And so, the green alien is dressed up as Kevin. So, let me give you a quick little close-up on the back and show you what uh, is in the series for this. And you'll see all the characters that are coming out in this remix series. So, let me show you this. So, you can see right there, you've got all the characters. You've got uh, Buzz Lightyear. You've got Dory. You've got Carl. You've got, um, oh my gosh, who is that? Um... Does that say Dot? Who is that? Yeah, it says Dot. I don't know who Dot is, but anyway, then over here you got Zerg. I've got that one ordered. I can't wait to get that in. You got Woody, and now Woody, he is the only one that is a 10 inch pop. The rest are this size here, The re but Woody's the only large one, like the Jumbo. And then you've got Russell from Up, and then you've got Doug from Up. So that completes everybody in this remix set. So let me get into this and show you real quick. Kind of toss them in a different direction so that I don't get my boxes mixed up. So, oh, he is so cute. And look, his little head moves. Oh my gosh, I love it. Of course, I love Kevin because I just, oh my gosh, I'm such a huge fan of Up. Uh, and it is so colorful. And I'll give you a close-up of this, but look at the feathers at the top. Let me go ahead and give you a close-up so you can see this. How precious is this? Of course, you see your green alien right here. And of course, you see Kevin's face up here. And look at his little beak coming out in that. Oh! Look at that color. And then look at the little feathers up top. Now look at the body. Look how colorful that is. And I'm going to turn it around. And look at there. Isn't that great? I just love that. And then look, you can see the alien ears coming out on the side. And like I said, his little head turns if you want to position him. Right now, I am a in-the-box collector. Um... Not to say I wouldn't set some out on occasion, um, maybe for the holidays or something, but I don't know. Right now, I just want them to be pretty and taken care of. So, I don't know. We'll see. I, and it's something else I don't have to dust, right? Well, I guess I have to dust the box, but <laughs> I love it. I just love them. I'm, I'm becoming such a nut about these. Okay, guys, are you ready for my next and last Funko Pop? to show you and it is a part of the alien remix series and guess what guys it is the big 10 inch woody look how big this thing is i mean it is huge i love it i just love it so much so let me quickly get it out of the box now let me do this i don't want to mess my box up you know i like to collect things i like to keep them nice um, you know, so they hold their value. You never know one day. My kids could enjoy those. Ooh, let me, oh, there we go. Woo! This is huge! Listen to all that plastic. Jiggle. Oh! <laughs> I love this! Oh my gosh! It is so heavy! Oh, wow! 
Oh, man. Let's see. Oh, and his head turns, too. Look at that. Oh, cool. I may have to take him to work with me one day and just sit him on my desk and see what comments I get, right? <laughs> I love it. Oh, well. Let me give you a close-up. Okay, so here's big stuff. This is Woody. Uh, the alien dressed up as Woody. Um... <laughs> Look at his outfit. I mean, it's perfect. You got the little jacket. I mean, everything matches like totally. I just love it. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Turn it around. And then look here. You can see his little green hand sticking out there. There's the back of it. And look at the detail in the hat. You even have the little stitch that goes around the edge of the hat into it. And look, you've got the little string where it pulls for Woody and his little belt and belt loops. It's so precious. Oh my gosh, I love him. I love him, I love him. Uh, so the next thing I'm gonna share with you are some pins I got in. You know, when I have a collective haul, it's always gonna include some pins. So I'm so excited to share them with you. So the first thing I wanna share with you, some I just gotten recently, actually yesterday, I think it was, but I got the new Halloween Trick or Treat 2020 limited release. And it is of uh, Mickey and Minnie, uh, and it has all the Halloween scenes. So let me give you a close up of this. Okay, so how beautiful is this pen? This is another great example of why I love the backer cards. Um, it just sets the scene of what's going on with the pen. I love the fun little cauldron right there. It is just precious, all the little pumpkins and Mickey and Minnie. I just cannot wait for Halloween. I just love it. And the fall, it just, it's just such a fun time with Disney, and I love it. So the next pen I want to share with you is a pen that I got. Um, now, this is the second in the series of 10 pens for the Castle pens. Um, and I'll be honest with you, I was not a candidate. I was not selected when we had to submit our emails um, and be selected to purchase uh, during this release. Um, but I was so disappointed, y'all. I mean, it's just... You know, for somebody who's trying to complete the set, I mean, I know Disney's trying to do the best that they can do and try different things to kind of, but still, I, you know, it is frustrating for those who are trying to complete the set. And if you can't get one, of course, when you go to eBay, they're $150 and more. You don't want to pay that. And so, um, you know, I was very disappointed to say the least, but... You know, one day I was at work, I was working away, and I said, you know what, I'm going to check Shop Disney, and lo and behold, it was there. And so, I just ran very quickly, thank goodness that I have got Apple Pay set up on my phone. And so, it's so quick, guys, if you don't have it on your phone, I would suggest you doing that if you feel comfortable with it, but I'm going to tell you, I love it. And uh, I was able to go very quickly and didn't have to waste time punching in any numbers or anything and just put my thumb up there because I had my fingerprint in my phone. So, it was just, I hit my fingerprint and scanned it and it was a very quick transaction and I didn't waste any time punching in any numbers uh, and I was able to get this pen. So, oh, it's so beautiful and now I'm not lagging behind, you know, missing one for the set. I can still move forward and hopefully get the next one that's coming out. Uh, but let me give you a close-up of this beauty. Oh, beautiful is this pen. Uh, this is the Frozen Castle, and it is just gorgeous. I know some folks had problems with their pen matching up. It's like the actual door to it. When it was closed, it was not meeting up with the base, and it looked like you had two pieces side by side, but thank God mine came in a bag, but it was perfect. I had no issues, and look how perfect the backer card is. I just love that too. But you open it up, and look at that gorgeousness. I just love it. So I was so, so thankful I was able to pick this up for my set.
So the next pins I want to share with you are three pins that I got in, and it's part of the Legacy series. Uh, they've released them, and I've picked them up and just been holding on to them to show them in the next haul video. But uh, I just love them. This one is from the Rescuers Down Under. This one is from Tangle with Rapunzel. And then this one is from Pocahontas. And so let me give you a close-up of these. I'm not sure which order they came out, um, so I don't, I'm not putting them in any particular order, but this is the one from Pocahontas. Isn't this beautiful? And look at the backer card. How gorgeous is that? Love it. And here is the one from um, Rescuers Down Under. Love this one, and I love the backer card. It kind of reminds me of the leg legacy one that came out for the Three Caballeros. Uh, love that. Here is the one for a tangle and you see Rapunzel and all the characters there love this. So the next set of pins I'm going to show you they're not connected but I'll just do them in a threes and foursies so you can see them kind of close up all at one time but this is one I've had for a while I, it's been a while since I've uh, videoed some pins but this is the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge this is limited release and it's of the Millennial, Millennial Falcon and uh, love that so I'll give you a close-up of that then this is the one I picked up for Happy Independence Day 2020 it's got stitch on the front of it it. so that was really cool had to get that um, and then I love love this one you know why I don't collect um, from the movie um, Indiana Jones because I love Indiana Jones but anyway here is DuckTales the movie and it, it looks just like uh, the promo stuff for Indiana Jones their whole setup but love that and then this one I picked up because it was, you know, it's coming up Halloween, and it looks Halloween-ish, but it's the Black Cauldron, and it is really neat. I love this. Limited edition, and it's the 35th anniversary for this particular movie, so let me give you a close-up of all of these. So here's the first one. It's the Black Cauldron, and like I said, it's limited edition, and it's 35th anniversary. Love that. Here is the next one I'm going to share with you, and it is a limited release, and this is the Millennium Falcon that I was telling you about from Galaxy's Edge. Isn't that cool looking? I just love it. Here is the fun pen, DuckTales, the movie. I love this. I love this whole pen. The backer card, everything about it. I think it's so awesome. And here's the last one. Uh, Happy Independence Day. And it's got Stitch on the front of it. Isn't that fun? Now, I don't collect Stitch either, but I just had to get this because it was such a special event. Okay, the last actual pen I'm going to share with you is one I picked up from Loungefly, and it's one of their special releases. It's there's three inch pens that they've been releasing, and this one is Robin Hood, and I love it. I love it so, so much. If you can see here, I'm going to try to do it so you don't get a glare from the lights, but I just love this whole backer card thing, this whole box. They decorate everything so beautifully and I just love it uh, so let me get the lid off of this to start with this is a limited edition pen and I believe it's a limited edition of 500 yep it sure is if you follow me on Instagram you've already seen this pen I've shown it on Instagram but it is so beautiful it's well worth showing again so let me give you a close-up how awesome is this look at the backer card you are in a forest and I love that and look the dartboard is actually on a tree on the backer card I just love that and the pin here is actually like darted to it uh, you see the arrow right there is so cool and this is actually a pin on pin and it's actually two separate pins it has four different uh, pins in the back and uh, you can take this off and it'd be a separate pin and when you take this one off uh, and I'll try to take it off in just a second and show you it shows Robin Hood on the back of that pin also but love this let me turn it around and show you the back and there it is limited edition of 500 and look how beautiful the back of the box is too I tell you man I was just so oh, I am just so impressed with the pins coming out of Loungefly I just don't know what to do those are just gorgeous so here are the two pins and they separate and then look at there who is right there on the back of that bullseye 
<laughs> I just love it. Uh, and if you turn it around, you can see on the back of these pins, how beautiful is that? If you look on the back, you can see the crown for Funko. And then you see the Disney logo at the bottom. So, so awesome. Awesome. I love that waffle print. And it's the same on, by, on both pins. Love that. And then you see the two holes where the pins actually go back into there. And then you've got one pin again. So the last couple things I'm going to share with you today in my haul is a Wally keychain and a Wally keychain. So uh, this is from Funko, the Funko side, and this is from the Loungefly side. So let me show you one first. And you know what? I, I don't know. I'm beginning to turn into a keychain collector, especially the ones from Loungefly. Oh my gosh, y'all. These are absolutely gorgeous. It's like a pin that's made into a keychain. That's how gorgeous this thing is. So let me show you that. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and open up this little fella and uh, let you see it as well when I do a close-up. This is the first time I've opened it. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. It reminds me of my Christmas ornament of uh, this. Okay, so let me give you a close-up of both of these characters. Okay, so how beautiful is this? This is Wally, and he's holding the little plant there, and you see Earth in the background, and this thing is huge. I mean, I guess it's probably, oh my gosh, two to three inches, maybe. Uh, and then look on the back of it, you've got that uh, Funko crown at the top, and then you've got Pixar down at the bottom. I love, love this. And it's got the gold hardware. It is so, so pretty. And it's got lounge fly on it. I just love this. Love it, love it, love it. And then here is the other little fellow. How cute is he? Oh my gosh. I just love it. Oh wow, it's so pretty. I just really got into Wally lately. I don't know why, but I just am. And I just want to pick up every little thing I see that's got Wally on it. So love these. Okay, guys, that is everything that I had to share with you today. And I hope you enjoyed it. I know I love it because I bought the stuff, <laughs> the things that I purchased. And I appreciate so much everything that everybody sent me. Oh, I just, oh my gosh, I love it so much. And, you know, guys, I'm on my way to getting a P.O. box. So you don't have to send everything through Melissa, which you can if you want to. But I'm just saying, uh, I'm going to get me a P.O. box. And uh, I got me some new cards. And it's got my channel on. On it's something I created myself. Uh, so guys, when I send out mail to you, I'll be sending a little card along the way with you. So be on the lookout for that. So guys, if you don't follow me on Instagram, please go over and join me there. I'd love, love to interact with you over there. We have so much fun there. I do giveaways there too. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'd love for you to be a part of my Disney channel also. Uh, we have so much fun here. Uh, we're just now finished up a, a giveaway here on this channel that I'm giving getting ready to announce the winner and if probably by the time this airs the winner will be announced already so uh, yeah definitely will be announced by the time you see this video but anyway uh, there'll be others coming up very soon and so I'd love you to be a part of my channel and uh, take part in everything and so guys until I see you again thank you for joining me and I hope you have an awesome awesome day